nice to be back again. This video is the end of religion, which I cannot wait for. I don't know about you. Somebody's got to do it, and I guess it's me. Because it is time to raid the religious pantry and read the fine print on the back of all the labels. Just as there is a plague of lotus being crushed now into our food, so too has the average religion been supplemented with that which would devour us. What many are consuming by way of the church today is poison and divisive setting good people upon each other. When it comes to the ascension of the angelic human, supreme vigilance is required. Anyone truly connected to prime creator source and the Christ consciousness will be attracted to unity consciousness like bees to nectar. And as the sweet honey derived therefrom is imbibed, it will shake the foundations of their belief systems like no other elixir could do. There will appear before them the unclothed apparitions of all who have betrayed and conned them, the screaming, spitting pastor who convinced them of their filthy sins, the local vicar on trial for buggering little boys, the archdiocese arching over the tithing plate, the Pope allegedly choking on the blood of children. All shall be revealed for who they really are. The kindly priest who convinced them that they could be saved through him and his exclusive connection to God Almighty will be sent packing. And those whose eyes were veiled over with repeated rhetoric and ordered to just give it to God in Jesus' name and wait and wait and wait shall wait no longer. All the lies and incantations glossing over the carnage in the obfuscated Holy Bible shall be duly revealed. And I do not speak of the wonderful, beautiful Christians that whose hearts are all in the right place. This is about the upper echelons of the church that is evil. The priests on private jets will crash and burn in the flames of the fire that brands, there is no God but my God, and the only way to God is through Jesus brandished into the neurons of the unsuspecting masses. And when that happens, the people will at first and understandably be very angry. But this will be a healthy anger needed to oust their wily perpetrators. After that, in the calm of their relinquishment, they shall embrace unity consciousness as the real divine plan will now be able to flourish in their presence. And those who insist on worshipping only God the Father and his Son, I have news for you. The angelic males took the rap for what the earth invaders propagated and still do by angry feminists. Many angelic men also believe that they are at fault and take on the persona of worshipping only the Gaia entities as well to make up for the pain and suffering they have supposedly caused to women. Those who remember and rally exclusively around the divine feminine, thinking that she is now the one who saves us, I say this is yet another psychological operation and yet another deviation from the truth to perpetuate division. Firstly, it still pits men against women and secondly, it perpetuates hierarchy, which is no less of an enemy than patriarchy itself. 
In the original divine plan, there was no such thing as hierarchy. Hierarchy was the original sin, if ever there was one. This is what first pitted angelic humans one against the other with the introduction of false wealth in the form of money and possessions. The Cathars, for instance, did not believe in possessing land, let alone a life dedicated to materialism as most of us live today. First, there is pure consciousness, and from that pure consciousness comes the divine feminine and masculine in equanimity. How do I know this? Well, we learn this from the great teachings of the Emerald Covenant. These teachings of our galactic history have been hidden and altered so that we may never know our true origins. Well, now we do, and we're doing something about it, and we're doing something with it. And many of us would like to live in a world of peace and end all the dogma and the indoctrination that's been drummed into our souls. The majestic power of the one true divine trinity model of pure consciousness incinerates at once the duality of the father-son trinity that has been infused into our sacred cerebral passages. This trinity of perpetual harm can no longer black out our third eye and hold us hostage to the accepted norms of a death cult and a worldwide industry of control and surveillance. We have had enough. Now that the truth is being revealed, we are free to go forth and plant the seeds of an abundant world. And in this new world of such high frequency, we as humans are changed on a multi-dimensional level toward our long destined ascension process which has been in the works for eons, and here we are living during these times, toward a now perfected destiny. We are blessed with the original codes of existence to use as tools to diffract and diffract the false light that has trapped our souls and penetrated our psyches for billions of earth years. The bi-wave closed polarity system is nudged into the abyss and the tri-wave unity loop system opens as an eternally blooming lotus. We are tapped once again into a state of pure consciousness from whence we now know that all matter originates in the form of harmonic, organic, divine form in an endless landscape of spectacular, aesthetic, and joyous wonder. And in this way of being, religion cannot thrive and it cannot exist because it's not a religion. It's a way of being, and it includes the mother and the father, the male and the female, in equanimity and it invokes pure consciousness which can only be harmonic and divine and religion dies in the face of that giant of truth thanks for listening okay i'll be back soon with another one i'm working on the disruption of the human angelic ecosystem and how it was invaded by an invasive species. And I'll be back soon with that. Okay. Bye -bye.